arrived back in London. Um, we are now in our other rental car. And we saw him cash guy, which is a SUV, but look at this, Let's look at this, America. Look at this, manual SUVs. Three, 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 west. <laughs> Definitely an upgrade from our does last one. Does not spot. have heated seats. Does Sad. have power lumbar support, strangely mm -hmm. enough. Manual seat though. Hey, we just, we have this. This is nice. <laughs> I just want heated seats. I know. Oh. We, we come to you from a very frosty English morning. It's a little chilly. Um, stayed at the Best Western. Days in, sorry. By, by the gas station. Actually, surprisingly nice for how cheap it was. A big day of fun um, adventures planned today. And uh, yeah, it's going to, you know, it's a great way to stay in shape. We went to a nice little like tavern thing last night, so that was cool. But that was pretty much all we did yesterday once we got here, other than the logistics of getting our car and getting to the right airport and stuff. After a bit of a drive, we're on our way to Stonehenge. There it is, Stonehenge. We couldn't do the tour because it doesn't start until 9.30 and we don't want to waste our entire day to go look at this, but it's very cool. And it's just tons of campers and things. They're all trying to get hedged. Hedge stones. <laughs> How do you feel? A little bit. My ears are kind of frozen. <laughs> I think we're both cold. Yeah. He's only wearing a rain jacket. Yeah. And, and like a sweater underneath. I'm wearing my down. We have better clothes for longer outdoor activities. Yeah. Still cold. Mm, burp. Got the sun coming up. We got Stonehenge from a slightly different angle. The next stop involves lots of stairs. because we both had to pee. <laughs> Anyways, um, last time we were here, we saw I saw these. And I was like, what is that? Robert's had it before. I hadn't. So good. It's like crunchy on the outside and then soft and airy in the middle. In a it's good. Mile, at the also, don't let her lie to you. We bought way more than just that one cake. Oh, yeah. We'll show you. like $20. <laughs> we'll show you. Second on the... Uh, Robert has had these too. The I'm, lemon is pineapple here and they don't put the stupid powder on it that shreds the inside of your mouth. Yeah, I'm super excited because I love sour stuff. So... I think what you remembered from South Africa. <laughs> yeah, they're the same all over. But they're good. Mmm. The United States is the weird one. Yeah. United States, what the heck? I'm pretty sure these are even not like the same as this in like Canada. Mmm. Mm. We've made it to Bath. We're going to the Roman Baths. Very exciting stuff. We paid for three Turn hours left to stay on Kingsmead you Square. You know that, but now you do.
That's the cold bath. This is the Bath Abbey, which was built in 1499. This little town. 361 High Street. It's so cute. I like the console. In a quarter of a mile. Hi. At the roundabout, take right. the second exit yeah. on 8361. There is called the Cotswolds. Oh. Everybody talks about it being cute and cool looking. It is cute and cool looking. Yeah, I agree with them. Where are we? Where are we? Diddly Squat Farm. Yeah, we are! Yes, that's awesome. So excited! How are you feeling, Shell? <laughs> I'm just so happy that we need to do this farm shop in the middle of England. It's great. That's the Diddly Squat Farm shop. The, the barn, that's maybe her restaurant. We don't know. So we just left the Diddley Squat Farm. Now we're going to hopefully the British Register Museum. British Motors Museum. Oh, Motors. Unfortunately, the um, the restaurant at Diddley Squat Farm closed at three o'clock, and we walked up to it at three ten. So sad. So sad. But we're gonna try these. I just love that it's a. Uh, I made a thing. <laughs> Mmm. I'm gonna hand you one. What do you think? They yeah. just like the cattle cook tricks. Mm-hmm. I like them. Ten out of ten, Jeremy. Ten out of ten. <laughs> I'm trying the lion bar now. It tastes like a crunch bar, but in like... But softer. Yeah. Because it has like the little nougat -y yeah, It's better than the crunch bar. Uh-huh. It's really good. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is a day all about Chell. We left Diddley Squat Farm and now we're going to the British Motor Museum so she can enjoy some glorious British roadsters. Don't listen to him. It's for him. He loves cars. I think it's for both of us. Yeah. Robert, in his natural habitat of the cars. Wow. Amazing. Hey, I know this car. <laughs> Thankfully, mine has the other half. And this one's left-hand drive. <laughs> so we only have 50 minutes here, so we're getting like the most abbreviated version. And there's two buildings. But here's a Moke, which is a Mini without a body, basically. This was Queen Elizabeth's car at one point. There was another one on the other side floating around. Very cool. In the other part of the museum after a, a nice run. She all found the Harry Potter museum, or Harry Potter car. And she said this wasn't uh, for her, it was just for me. Get out of here. She's having more fun than I am. Just, just for me, she says. <laughs> it's a twin engined mini Moke. So it's got another A series just stuffed in the back. That would be a riot. And then there's some military stuff too, which is really cool. Look at that guy. The Nutfield Gutty. I'm getting all sorts of um, fun new sports car ideas. It's a problem. Got a Europa and a Vanquish. 
ça. It's crazy to see this these cars here. A super early London bus. I'm not sure what year. I'll get back to you on that. And then we have the Lego interpretation of my car. They missed the external hinges though. I gotta let them know about that. The 1923 London General Omnibus. Very. The Rally Monte Carlo winning original minis. <laughs> what? <laughs> The 1953 Morris Minor fire engine. It's just got a bunch of fire extinguishers and like a 20 foot tall ladder in it. It's so cute. It's so funny. They have a Lotus Carlton here. VRX 220. It's like a uh, rebadged Elise almost. Well, not almost, it's exactly what it is. Look at that interior. After much back and forth, we've decided to go to Wall Street Burgers uh, because the restaurant that Chell picked, that she spent lots of time on, didn't exist when we got there. And then I just picked the first thing that I got on Google Maps because we're both starving. And it was two minutes from where she sent us. So hopefully Can it's I just, good. Just point out that this happens a lot, that I try so hard to pick something good and it just never works. She tries really After hard. waiting an eternity, we got our food. We're eating it in the car because it was freezing in there. So cold. We got burgers and we got some chili chicken um, wings. After a long drive, we have made it to Wales to our little inn and tavern style hotel. Probably the nicest hotel of the trip. <laughs> Chell hasn't seen it yet, so you'll get her reaction live, but. Overall, very fun day today. Unfortunately, we were rushed at the British Motor Museum, but it was yeah. good. It was still good. Everything was good, and it was almost a, a blessing that we couldn't get food from Clarkson's Farm because then we would have missed the Motor Museum entirely. Here it is, a bit dimly lit, but definitely one of the nicest, if not the nicest, hotel we've stayed in. And it was like fifty dollars. I booked it last night, and it was one hundred percent funded by my Chase credit cards cash back. Okay, it's 7 a.m. It's a bit a bit past when we intended, but we were tired, so, you know, give us a break. We're about to climb the tallest mountain in Wales, which is called, like, Yerwifta, or Snowden in English. So, I know how to say that one. Um, super dark here. Sunrise is in about an hour. Uh, hopefully we'll get up there just after sunrise. Should be a good time. Are you excited, Jill? Hi. It's also very cold and snowing. Oh, wait. Hello. We got some light just barely peeking its head out. Starting to see. Wow, you can see a lot more through the phone than I could see. We got Shell up there. She ran up ahead because I was fixing my jacket and my gloves and such. Surprisingly warm. We layered up way too hard because we were, uh, really cold once we started moving. It was regret like always. I dressed warmer than I normally would have and can confirm was a problem. It's a bit precarious, very icy. I wanted to bring spikes and the TSA guidelines were un we were unsure. So we would have either had to buy less aggressive ones or take the risk of getting ours thrown away. So we just decided to not bring them at all for, you know, one to two hikes. Pretty 
head down, Joe. Mm -hmm. Are you head down? Boop. It is very slippery. The snow's gone pretty bad. But yeah, that's the lake from this morning. It's a lot slower than I ever would have imagined. And it's because now, instead of just being icy, there's it's all hidden under the snow. I'm almost done. Almost. Almost. But it's really pretty. Falls. Yeah. Missing my micro spikes. Yeah. We're missing the micro spikes. Very unclear on micro spikes. <laughs> made it back to the car. I expected that hike to take about three hours and it took six. Very slow going, but it was fun, worth it. Wish we would have brought our spikes, but it is what it is. I don't know what this is, but we're here. And we're cold. That was the Dole Badarn, I don't know if I'm saying that right at all, castle in, uh, in Wales, right by our hike. It's like a 10 minute drive. Um, 800 years old, it's only part of the castle. Most of the castle was disassembled about 100 years after it was built because they were using the timber for other stuff, but they left a few buildings alone and that was one of them and it's still standing there today. Fun! of sheep everywhere. Sheep, oceans, mountains with snow on them. It's ridiculous. <laughs> like, oh, there's little dots up there. Those are sheep. Next stop. He looks down in the dumps. <laughs> Look at who it is. It's Chow and a Christmas tree. Oh, on top of a castle. Just left our hotel. I have to go for a hike, much to Chell's dismay. It's a short one, hopefully. But maybe we won't finish it. We have made it to the trailhead, and we have made the executive decision that it's really cold and rainy. So we have decided that instead of going for a hike, we are going to go to all the scenic overlooks in this national park and appreciate it from that perspective instead. Because we also kind of got a little bit of a late start despite it not being a late start. And our next stop is gonna be open by the time we get there at this point. So we're at the Mint, but they're doing a child-oriented Santa tour instead of their normal tour because it's Christmas. So we're just going through their little museum Christmas. section. So this has all the spellings within the coin of Le 
Lindonia. So the Which L. Which means London. The L. The. I was in the middle. I was in the middle. And then middle. there's an N. Uh -huh. And then D. D. And then. I. A. And then V. Yeah, we're a little out of order there, but you, you got but, the idea. Yeah, it's still really cool. And then there, there it is. The next castle, now that we're done with the mint. Surprisingly, they didn't have any mints there. Chell was very disappointed. She didn't understand what we were, where we were going. This is a joke. She knew what we were doing. <laughs> the most English day to do the most English activity. And the people in the little gift shop entryway thing were the nicest. They speak Welsh. It just, it feels like I'm supposed to understand because they have the right accent but you don't know what any of the words mean. It just sounds like utter gibberish. It's amazing. This castle was built in the late 1200s, by the way, under a bit of construction currently. Is it just... The villain, the wife, and the king. They're restoring the Great Hall currently with period correct to the 1300s furniture, which is really cool, but unfortunate that, you know, we're here while they're doing that. Look at this old timey drawbridge thing. And the carnival! <laughs> huh? We got trebuchets, catapults, ballistas. Joe oh, and I were hungry, so we went and grabbed some KFC because that sounded good. It is worse than the Cypress one, but it was still pretty okay. Better than the United States one, for sure. And also, yeah! yeah. We're in the St. Fagans Museum. Castle. Honestly, my favorite name for a place I think I've heard. Joe, give me your St. Fagans review. It's amazing. It's so pretty. Like, I don't want to get married here. Screw the wedding. We're getting married here. We have this cool wooden building and then this tree. Chell for scale. This is Cardiff Castle. So it's Christmas only tours right now and you have to pre book them. There's a little dragon behind me. Look at him. Wow. But uh, here's what the castle looks like. It's pretty cool looking over there. And then it's whatever this building is as well. A little guard tower. Yeah, it's pretty neat. Too bad we couldn't go in, but we've been in a bunch of castles already, so I'm not going to complain too much. They got all the Christmas lights. Here's the castle, and then you got a whole little Christmas market thing going. It was pretty cool. We just parked the car at the very last hotel, which is called, oh man, Our Old ho House at Home. And this is by far the nicest hotel of the trip. The last quote nicest hotel was the cutest hotel, but this one is the nicest. I normally don't take videos of the hotels, but the hotels on this trip have all just been mediocre at best. Right, Chell? 
And this one seems really nice. Now, we haven't slept here yet, so maybe the beds are going to be terrible. We don't know. Chell's about to find out. Oh, that's great. Most of all the beds that we've slept in have been terrible Completely because for some garbage. reason, European people hate good night's sleeps. They just want to sleep on springs and eighth inch thick mattresses and just destroy their spine. Well, we were at Aldi the other day. We bought the So Malty Malt Loaf. I don't know how people eat that. It's disgusting. It looks good, actually. <clears throat> Tastes horrible. I spit mine out. I couldn't even do it. I was like, this is not, not worth the calories. <laughs> Shell found out that pudding isn't pudding. Welcome to my sticky toffee pudding. It looks really good, though. It looks delicious. I should have gotten this everywhere that we've gone. I've just forgotten about it until now. I'll check out over the hotel for our last day. We couldn't find anything really interesting to do, so we're going to go to the grocery store and get some candy and stuff and bring that back with us. We uh, managed to pack way more efficiently on the return journey than we did on the way out. Yeah, we headed home. How many hours? Like? Ten or twelve. Here we go.